Hey everyone, Keith here, and today I am with a BMW 323 Saloon. This is a 2000 model year. It's got 87,000 original miles, four brand new matching tires, and it's just exceptionally clean. Really a nice looking car. The 323i is actually a 2.5 liter. When BMW went to the E46, they started bumping up the displacement on their engines to where they don't always correspond with the model number. Really nice, sporty, dual tip exhaust there. Alloys are great. As you can see, tons of meat on those tires. Uh, the wheel arches are all excellent. There's no rust, no rust scabs. The paint is glossy. I mean, you can see the clouds and the reflection. Beautiful day out here, by the way. Private registration plate, weight uh, PWK. This car only had one prior owner, and PWK were the initials of the uh, previous owner. There's two in total, two, two lady owners. Um, and that's the story behind the plate. And that does come with the car. Okay, so there's a full walk around of the outside. Let's take a look at this engine. Before I do that, you know what? I'm going to show you. Here's the inspection certificate. So here in the UK, every year, you have to have a Ministry of Transportation test certificate. It's an annual inspection. And there's almost always advisories, little notes of negative things that you'll find on a car of this age, but not the case here. You, they also have the, uh, the mileage history from all the previous years. So you can see that there. All consistent. That is exactly what you want to see on a car. Now this is what, you know, in the States we have car titles here in the UK, they have a V5 logbook. So there's the registration number and you can see the two owners and number of former keepers, one. Awesome. All right, so now let's go ahead and pop the bonnet. Wait till you see how clean this engine is. Wow. So, bonnet stays up like it should. There you go, all your fluid reservoirs are crystal clear. You know, a lot of times you'll see with, uh, let's say like the windscreen cleaner, people will just pour, you know, tap water in there. Not the case, you've got proper screen wash there. No, you know, rust or corrosion on the strut towers, that's always something to look out for. You know, everything's proper, you know, the battery's always been good. A lot of times when people, you know, don't take care of their cars they don't have money for a new battery they're constantly jumping it and you'll see this uh charge point cap just totally gone because it's been used so many times brake fluid reservoir everything crystal crystal clear um you know no no plastic covers missing everything's where it should be no no modifications or tuning like stock factory air box there no k and air filter or any nonsense you know this car has just been babied super super clean no leaks totally dry it does not get better than this if you're looking at one in your country um in your neighborhood you want it to look like this all right that's closed let's show you the interior everything is super clean all right cloth interior this is pretty rare actually we've got this kind of jet piano black trim throughout a lot of times you'll see wood or um various various finishes but not very often cloth with jet black and i like it no funky smells it hasn't been smoked in there's no cigarette burns you know everything is just really really clean that's that side door card there let's go take a look through the other side airplane up there that's what you're hearing okay so again from this side door card power windows front and back which is always nice I think it's really strange when uh, they do manual windows in the back and electric windows in the front just odd okay I mean you can see this carpet uh, it's just super clean you're not gonna find a cleaner 323 in the UK this is as good as it gets. You know, your bolsters have no wear. Um, you know, armrest isn't all chewed up. The leather around the, the shifter 
you know, th that's all perfectly intact. The glass is all good, no chips or cracks or anything. Uh, six disc CD changer in the back, air conditioning there, tape player up front, and you've got your active stability control. All right, now for the fun part, we go for a drive. That's my favorite part. So let's get this paperwork moved out of the way and show you the driver's seat. There we go. Okay. Again, no wear on the bolster or anything. Everything's exactly as it should be. Steering wheel, you know, no wear. Everything's great. Door card, super, super clean. Okay. So, let's take a look at the dash while we put the key in the on position. So there's on position, it lights up. You can hear the air con, let me turn it down. History doesn't offer too much encouragement. And me and my boring BBC Radio 4. Okay. So here we go, 87,775 miles. We'll start the car. Starts right up. No rattles or any, you know, funny sounds or knocking or ticking or anything. Your uh, temperature, whoop is where you want it to be there. Your idle, nice, smooth, and steady. You see that? Exactly what you want to see. Let's rev it up. Nice, just, ah, uh, just sounds so much better than the, uh, uh, the four cylinders. This is great. So there you go. Nice, okay. So I'm going to put my seatbelt on and you can see the little red light there. That's the handbrake. Okay, handbrake down. Let's get out of here, guys. Okay, no traffic coming. Very good. Okay. Off we go. And this car is nice and quiet. Um, there's no... Nothing's banging or clunking inside the car. The suspension's good going over all the bumps. A few little speed bumps up here. We'll brake to a stop. And uh, no squeaks or squeals. Brakes are excellent. Okay, look both ways. Yeah, I, I would have no problem taking this car on a, on a road trip across Europe today. I'd, I'd leave, go to Italy, drive back, and I wouldn't be worried about a thing. All right, and that's third gear. Very good. Fourth gear. And um, yeah, nothing to complain about. Everything's operating exactly as it should. We've got no warning lights and um, no abnormalities at all. Everything is situation normal. Well, thanks for checking out the video, guys. If you've got any questions, let me know. And other than that, I will see you soon with the next car. Thanks and take care.